Next guests are here to educate as well as entertain. Here to perform their single, Why Does the Sun Shine, are They Might Be Giants. The sun is a mass of incandescent gas, a gigantic nuclear furnace where hydrogen is built into helium at a temperature of millions of degrees. Yo ho, it's hot, the sun is not a place where we could live. But here on Earth, there'd be no life without the light it gives. We need its heat, we need its light, the sunlight that we see. Without the sun, without a doubt, there'd be no of incandescent gas, a gigantic nuclear furnace, where hydrogen is built into helium at a temperature of millions of degrees. The sun is hot. It is so hot that everything on it is a gas. Aluminum, copper, iron, and many others. The sun is large. If the sun were hollow, a million Earths would fit inside. And yet, it is only a medium-sized star. The sun is far away. About 93 million miles away. And that's why it looks so small. But even when... The sun shines night and day We need its heat, we need its light The sunlight that we see The sunlight comes from our own sun's atomic energy Scientists have found that the sun is a huge atom-smashing machine The heat and light of the sun are caused by the nuclear reaction between Hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, thiamine, nutrisui, aminin, hizim, ezm, and hydrogen. The sun is a mass of incandescent gas, a gigantic nuclear furnace, where hydrogen is built into helium at a temperature of millions. Of hey. That was great. Uh, when we come back, we'll talk to They Might Be Giants. We're here with From They Might Be Giants, John Flansburg and John Linnell. Correct. How are you guys? Good. Excellent. <laughs> that was, uh, this is a first for our show. I don't think we've had a glockenspiel on the show or a, uh, an accordion, All right. for that matter. How about a bass clarinet? You got a bass clarinet in the band? Probably. Yeah. Every night. Because you get double, double scale for the bass clarinet. Andy plays one at the end of every show. All right. <laughs> you haven't been paying attention. No, no, I, I, uh, I just, uh, you know, leave the TV on for... You know, incidental stuff. Hey, you know, I just drank out of William Shatner's cup and I'm feeling really weird now. <laughs> well, that, you know, he had to record those songs and <laughs> he needed yeah, that. Yeah, I, I get the feeling we're going to have to reinterpret our uh, material. And, and, and you're going to be inspired by the William Shatner. <laughs> is a mass. <laughs> now, that's a... <laughs> I, uh, I have to ask you about... Uh, that's a very good impression. I, I had to... <laughs> I have to ask you about that song you just sang. Uh, where does that come from? You just, that song had, was packed with scientific information, more so yeah. than most songs that we hear on this show. Well, <laughs> the thing that's interesting about that song is, I don't know if you've ever um, 
like been to a, a summer house or something, there are always two books, like a, a bird watching book and a, uh, a book about the stars. Right. And you open up, you know, page one of the Golden Book of Stars, and it says, the sun is a mass of incandescent gas, a gigantic nuclear furnace. And they leave out the yo-ho part, but, uh, <laughs> but pretty much, you know, I was surprised that, you know, it wasn't somehow uh, credited to the Golden Book when we got the... Uh, Publishing rights. It's on an educational record from the 50s called Space Songs. That was a song. You guys didn't write that song. That's, that's a... It's a cover. That's right. It's People's cover. favorite songs of ours are the ones that we didn't actually write. Yes. <laughs> well, what's the... Uh, this, is, uh, this is a guy who wrote and, and performed educational songs in the 50s, and he was a huge star. Well, uh, uh, Tom Glazer performed it, and he did a lot of Folkways records, which were like big... Uh, he was a huge star. Yeah, he was a huge star. He, he did uh, uh, On Top of Spaghetti. I'm sure oh. you know that song. That was Tom Glazer. Big. Big. We're talking, we're talking moving units. That's a classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he also did all these like uh, American folk song records that were lingering around our New England homes. You know, folk was big and right. Cambridge in the 60s. You know. Now you guys are from, you're, you're from Bo the Boston area. Yeah, now you're... All right. All right. Now, are you from Massachusetts? Yeah, I'm from uh, Brookline. Oh, really? I lived yeah. in Brookline for a while. Brookline in the house! Yeah. So, um, that's why we're getting so many laughs tonight. Yeah, yeah. Um, so when you were a kid, did you say, uh, did you say pissa? I, I tried to. We weren't really allowed in my house to say pissa a lot. Cause I, I'd I, say pissa and then kuj. Right. And then my mother would hit me with something. Because uh, I thought there was a kid in my school who actually invented the word pissa, but I've, I've heard since then that it's actually just a New England if he had cultural the, thing. If he had the copyright, right. he'd be cleaned right. It's up. like a yeah, three-peat, you know. Now, how did you guys meet? Oh, we went to high school together. Uh, Lincoln Sudbury Regional High. Yeah. yeah. Warriors, number one. That's our high school. <laughs> and, and how did, when you first met, did you immediately know, okay, we're going to go on and, uh, and, and, and make music together? No, we, we weren't doing music originally. We, we worked on the, uh, the much disliked high school newspaper. Uh, and then we had the only school paper that didn't have a sports section. Which, for a high school, you sort of wonder what else is going on. Right, right. right. So. But John was the editor, so... Yeah. And it was hated, it was, it was by, his it was hated by everyone? Well, it was paper? liked by everyone on the staff. On. Right. <laughs> That's Somebody the important thing. Somebody suggested calling it Vanity Fair, actually, <laughs> at, at the time. Oh, well, that, you, guys, uh, you guys had a... Uh, you've had an, uh, an interesting career. You've been together... How long have you been playing together? Oh, uh, making records. Uh, 100 years. Actually, That's 100 incredible. Anna anniversary. I'm 182. No, uh, we've actually been uh, playing out for about 10 years, I guess. We started in the, the early 80s and during the new wave explosion. That's right. New we wave will never die. Now, you guys had a, uh, didn't you have a, call you had a call-in number or something? We still do. We still have a dial song service, which is absolutely free to anyone who calls. Uh, it's a long-distance call if you're outside of New York, but if you're in New York, or if you just, uh, you know, call from your folks' house or something. And this is to... And what happens when you dial it, you hear... Can you pick you the song new... you want or whatever song is... You don't no, have a choice. No, we've got the machine. It's, it's computerized. We actually have the machine that allows you to do the thing. But it seems so bogus to actually have, like, you know... Sure. Press one for... So, so we just... We, we mixed it up ourselves. All right. And the, the number, I guess, is 718-387-6962. Uh, Flashing on the screen. There you go, 718-387-6962. That is cool, yeah. See? So we want, we want to remind everybody... We want the to wonders everybody of TV. ...to, uh, you know, write this down now and call back a week from now because you'll never get through now. But uh, <laughs> Write it down. It's going to be a madhouse. Yeah. Well, listen, uh, thanks very much. Uh, I, I enjoyed the song very much, and we'll be right back with Susie Ames. <laughs> in the middle of a great conversation. All right, uh, listen, we're out of time. Uh, thank you very much for coming. I want to thank my guest, Susie Amos, first of all. And uh, you wanted to mention that you're currently working on the film Blown Away. Is that right? Yes. Just working on it in Boston. Working on it in Boston and L.A. with Tommy Lee Jones and right. Jeff Bridges. Great. I also want to thank uh, They Might Be Giants for being here. Of course, I want to thank William Shatner, who had to run. And of course, Andy Richter of the Max Weinberg 7. We'll see you.